we have something very exciting to discuss right now. Mm -hmm. One of us, I won't say which of us, it could be Matt Gorley, it could be Conan O'Brien, or it could be Sona Movsesian. One of us is about to be a published author. Mm. I, can, I can definitively say it's not me. Oh. Right. I'm not even a published reader. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure how that joke works, but we'll do some yeah. we'll do some uh, triage on it and figure it out. Sona, this is exciting. You have a book coming out. Tell it, us what's the book called. It's it's called the world's worst assistant. Yes, yes. <laughs> I love it. Finally, vindication. <laughs> it is. I have to say, out of the three of us, it is shocking. I'm the only one who wrote a book. I don't I'm not think even. So. Kidding. No, it no, is. It, Especially Conan with you, because yeah. you're. I'll get there someday. You but yeah. Let's f focus on the book. Yeah. You've written a book called. The World's Worst Assistant. Yes. And it chronicles what, Sona? It chronicles my time as your assistant. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, I have to say, I read the book. My wife read the book. We both thought it was spectacular. Uh, you are very honest. There are some real. You are quite honest in this book about the ways uh, in which you took advantage of my, uh, of my kindness and idiocy. Um, to make that job um, a boondoggle for you. And, and you give great advice for how people can emulate you. Well, yes? I, I think first when I first started writing it, I think uh, I thought, oh, am I going to make Conan look bad? And then when I was done with the book, I made you look great and I made myself look horrible. <laughs> and I think I that, say I, that, well, it's... no, I do. I look, I look terrible. I think that there's a lot that I have gotten away with, but I think it's a credit to you because especially now there's a lot of conversation about like shitty bosses and you right. are not a shitty boss. I think the fact that I could make fun of you and say things to you means that you're not a shitty boss. Oh, people will read this and go, well, what was his problem? Why didn't he fire her a long time ago? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> this guy was asleep at the switch. <laughs> no, it, you know, I have to say, it, it, is, uh, it is very well done. The book is really well done. It's really funny. Um, and there's some s real sweet parts in it, too. And uh, I was very impressed. Your husband does the artwork for it and it's really good and, yeah. and funny very it funny is. he made you look really uh pathetic, pathetic. <laughs> yes <laughs> i spent hours posing for him <laughs> he really captured my complete ability my my complete inability to uh establish order in a workplace yeah i did think of how would, how would i want to write a book that I would want to read, and I realized I would want cartoons in a book, so I just put a lot of cartoons and illustrations in mine and pictures. And I wrote the foreword. And you wrote the foreword, which is clearly just the strongest, best part of the no, whole no, book. It's a really good it, book. It, yeah, really but I mean, book. it's, you know, it, I, I, and I talk about how my book peaked at the foreword, and uh, I think it's <laughs> very true. I have a prediction that fans of this podcast, because I'm constantly meeting people who listen to the podcast, they always ask me, and it's funny, I used to get this a lot when I would, for years and years and years when I was doing the Late Night Show or the Conan Show, wherever I was, I could be anywhere in the world, and people would say, where's Andy? <laughs> they thought that we traveled together, and you know, if I, went in, if I walked into a men's room, they didn't know why Andy wasn't with me to take the urinal uh, you know, to my right, <laughs> which is the, the position he's supposed to be uh, assuming. And it's the same thing now because of the podcast. I go places and they go like, well, where's Sona? Where's Matt? And I go, well, I'm taking the you know, family on a vacation in Tahiti. Why would I take them with me? But they, they insist that you, you guys must be somewhere. But I think uh, fans of the podcast are going to really like the book. I do. I, I do talk about the podcast because I think, uh, well, you know, this is very nerve wracking. Sometimes you guys have done this a lot. Like you guys have, you've you've performed in front of people. You've done so many podcasts, but I think I'm the odd man out having never done it. And it's very, it can be ne very nerve wracking. But I do talk about how I became a national speech champion, and that after that, everything else just didn't didn't matter. <laughs> you what, at what age did you become a speech champion? <laughs> Come on! No, I'm serious. I, I, I'm, I'm asking. I was 20. You were, tw yeah. When you were, tw you were 20 yeah. in, col in college. In college. In college, you won a national speech championship. I did. And I remember when I first hired Sona. About a months after I hired her, you dropped that you had been a national speech cha speech champion. And then, every time you and I would get into an argument, you would bring it up. Like, 
hey, wait a minute. I'm a national speech champion. I'd say, I know. What does that have to do with the fact that you... You embezzled $35 <laughs> or you fed gummy worms into the printer as a, as a prank. What is that? Uh, I was a national speech champion. I like yeah. that. Instead of the world deciding that you peak too soon, you proclaim, I peaked then. That's exactly right. Takes yeah. the pressure yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I do mention how out of the podcast, my friendship with Matt Gorley started and how Aww. that's my favorite part about it. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. But also, you know, you're... You commit crimes. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. And by the way, let's keep the focus on you. Sir. No, I mean, I mean, one of the questions is, doesn't the world's worst assistant have the world's worst boss? Mm. Possibly. Possibly. No, yeah. I... You commit crimes. Of course. Of You've allowed this to happen. I allowed it to happen. I always thought, uh, even at its very worst, I always thought our interaction was so funny and comical. It was, we were living out a sitcom of... The assi- you know, everything was so upside down. Yeah. But with in in our relationship as assistant boss, and you know we live in this world now where people are trying to codify what does that mean, um, rules in the workplace, and you and I always had a completely absurd relationship yeah. to one another, and it and it got to the point where I thought this is great. This is more important <laughs> than us <laughs> setting, <laughs> setting the right example for people in the world. Uh, this is just too funny. And it, I think it's been borne out over time. Because, I think so. And I think one of the things that helps a lot is you're always you. Yeah. You're always you. And that's what I like about your book is that your book is very honest and it is really a reflection of you. Um, some of the things that you do that you describe in the book – <laughs> Maybe criminal. Uh, <laughs> Did you check the statute of limitations on any of these? But it's all done with love. It's all b- done with uh, love and a real a joie de vivre. And yeah. I think yeah. that's what makes it so much fun. Yeah. So I, I'm encouraging people to check out the book. I'm excited for it to come out and um, excited for people to read just what you've done. That's true. <laughs> it is very true. A lot yeah. of it is has been a lot of fun, and it's it's been so much fun being your assistant. And I love it, and I'm going to do it till I die. I'm just going to ride those coattails forever. That's true. Just <laughs> use those perks that One I. One of get. my favorite pictures that we had in the in the old office uh, was we were at we were doing some event, and it's me taking selfies yeah. with about 900 people. Yeah. In the background, and you're in the foreground. Not helping me at all, <laughs> drinking the largest pour of Chardonnay you've ever seen. Someone put half, someone put half a bottle of Chardonnay into a glass, and you are enjoying it so much. And I'm in the background working my ass off. There it is. I love that photo. There it is. Let me see. There it is. Let me see. Oh, there it is. Oh, and look at your face. Your, your face is kind of like. Hmm. Oh, I hope he's okay. <laughs> oh my God. My, no, my friend. We gotta post that. Go to uh, Team Coco Instagram. We're gonna find post the clean it. Version of it, yeah. But it it is. Uh... And uh, Team Coco Podcast Instagram. So tell us when this book is gonna be out and where people can get it. This book comes out July nineteenth. Comes out tomorrow. Right. And it's available everywhere. Your independent bookstores. Your Amazon. Your Barnes and Noble. I mean, it's every gas stations, uh, they... airport kiosks. Okay. I don't know. I'm just saying things now. I don't know where to them. buy books. Mm. I didn't think you did. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's shocking. I wrote one. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very the much. The book again is called "The World's Worst Assistant," and forward is written by you. And so. uh, the book by Sonam of Sessi. By me. And uh, art by by Tak Baroyan, my husband. Very cool. Congratulations. Thank congratulations. You guys.